Banks, temples of finance, vaults full of cash. Okay, maybe not so much the vaults anymore, but still these institutions hold the keys to the kingdom of capital. Ever wonder how they rake it in? It's not just about those pesky ATM fees. Think of banks as financial intermediaries. They take your money, deposits, lend it out to others, loans, and hopefully for them and for you, make a profit along the way. It's a delicate dance, one that has been going on for centuries, evolving alongside economies and technologies. But here's the thing. Banks aren't just these monolithic, money-hungry behemoths. They play a crucial role in our daily lives, whether we realize it or not. From facilitating commerce to providing credit, banks keep the economic engine humming. Understanding how they operate is key to navigating the financial landscape and securing our own piece of the pie. Let's start with the basics. Deposits. You deposit your hard-earned cash into a checking or savings account. Simple enough, right? But behind the scenes, the bank sets that money in motion. They don't just keep it tucked away in a vault, gathering dust. Remember, banks are in the business of making money. So, they lend out a portion of those deposits to other customers. Businesses looking to expand, individuals buying homes, you name it. This is where the fractional reserve banking system comes in. Banks are required to keep a certain percentage of deposits in reserve, readily available for withdrawals. The rest? It's loaned out, generating interest and fueling economic activity. But what about your money's safety, you ask? Don't worry, it's protected. Government agencies insure deposits up to a certain amount, providing a safety net for account holders. So, rest assured, your money isn't just floating out there in the financial ether. Now let's talk loans. Remember those deposits the bank is lending out? Those turn into mortgages, business loans, personal loans. You get the picture. And yes, banks charge interest on these loans, which is how they generate a good chunk of their revenue. Think of it this way. The interest rate on a loan is essentially the price borrowers pay for the privilege of using the bank's money. The bank, in turn, uses the interest income to cover its operating costs, pay interest on deposits, and of course make a profit. But hold on. Before you grab your pitchforks and decry banks as greedy loan sharks, remember this. Loans are the lifeblood of the economy. They enable individuals to purchase homes, fund their education, or start businesses. They allow businesses to expand, hire more employees, and contribute to economic growth. It's a delicate balancing act. Banks need to manage risk, ensuring they lend money responsibly, while also making a return for their depositors and shareholders. It's a high-stakes game, but one that underpins our entire financial system. Ah, interest rates. They are the heartbeat of the financial world, pulsing through every transaction and investment, the source of both excitement and anxiety for anyone with a bank account or a loan. Whether you're saving for a rainy day or planning a big purchase, interest rates play a pivotal role in your financial decisions. But what exactly are they, and how do they work their magic, or sometimes, not-so-magical effects? Let's dive deeper into the world of interest rates and uncover their mysteries. In simple terms, interest rates are the cost of borrowing money or the return on lending it. They are the price you pay for the convenience of using someone else's money. When you deposit money in a savings account, you're essentially lending it to the bank and they pay you interest as a thank you. This interest is your reward for letting the bank use your money to fund loans and other investments. Conversely, when you take out a loan, you pay interest to the bank for the privilege of using their funds. This interest is the bank's way of earning money on the funds they lend out. Now, here's where it gets interesting, pun intended. Interest rates are not static. They fluctuate based on a variety of factors. Interest rates are influenced by a multitude of factors including central bank policies, inflation, and overall economic conditions. Central banks like the Federal Reserve in the United States play a significant role in setting benchmark interest rates. When the economy is booming, interest rates tend to rise as demand for credit increases. Higher interest rates can help cool down an overheating economy by making borrowing more expensive. Conversely, when the economy slows down, interest rates typically fall to stimulate borrowing and spending. Lower interest rates make it cheaper to borrow money, encouraging businesses and consumers to take out loans and invest in growth. This constant ebb and flow of interest rates can feel like a roller coaster ride, but it's a crucial part of how banks manage risk and ensure the stability of the financial system. By adjusting interest rates, central banks can influence economic activity, control inflation, and maintain financial stability. For everyday consumers, understanding interest rates can help make informed financial decisions. 
Whether you're saving for the future, buying a home or investing in a business, keeping an eye on interest rate trends can provide valuable insights. So, the next time you hear about interest rate changes, remember that they are more than just numbers. They are a powerful tool that shapes the economy and impacts our daily lives in countless ways. In the end, understanding interest rates is a win-win. It empowers you to make better financial choices and helps you navigate the ever-changing landscape of the economy with confidence.